Greetings, beautiful and radiant beings. My name is Zephyr. I'm a licensed massage therapist and bodywork professional, Reiki master teacher, shamanic practitioner. I'm also a sound healer and psychic intuitive. Lots of hats these days, just like the rest of us. I'm here to share with you messages from spirit, the thing that you need to know most in this moment. This reading is timeless, so whenever you receive it, it is the perfect time for you. We'll start up by clearing the space. Wherever you're at, connect with your breath and notice what your breath does to your body. Extend your attention to the space beyond your tailbone and into the earth beneath you and connect with the vibrations of Mother Earth. Allow that vibration to travel up into the base chakra and to sit there, keeping you grounded for as long as you need. Thank you, angel spirits, guides. We'll clear it all out. And there we go. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angel spirits, guides, for all of the messages that you've shared. And thank you for the messages that you're about to share. Please let us know what it is that the collective needs to know most at this time. What is the message that needs to come forward? Thank you, thank you, thank you, angel spirits, guides. Got slow but steady. Let's see, did another one turn over? I don't think so. All right, Angel Spirits, guys, what else? There we go. Got some movement into balance. Angel Spirits, guides. Okie dokie. Unlimited possibilities, energy healing, and forgiveness. All right. So some of you might see the, the sage smoke still blowing through. I usually just light one one little leaf and let it continue to burn through. So uh, the awesome smoke effect is actually coming from and, and providing some, some clearing uh, as we go through. I don't like to snuff it out. I let it burn if it's going to burn. So for those of you that are new to my channel, uh, the way that I read the messages are from left to right. This is your energy right now. And vertically, this is what spirit is uh, coming in and saying. They're kind of interjecting your angels, your spirits, your guides, the divine universe, God, the goddess, uh, whoever it is that is out there. Uh, so right now, the overall message is uh, take things slow and steady. And right now, there's this really powerful energy that's coming through uh, with unlimited possibilities. And... Some of you are, are in need of offering for forgiveness, excuse me, uh, and Spirit saying, hey, this is going to help you to come more into your power. We've got the move into balance card and we've got the energy healing card or the healing energy uh, card. Um, so just to kind of take a look at, at some of the numbers that have come up, uh, the slow but steady card is number three. Number three is a really balanced number. It's a number of divinity. So spirit is really with you right now, helping to you know keep you moving forward. And we've got the unlimited possibilities card, which is number 19. One and nine in numerology is 10. 10 is a completion number and brings us back to one. So one and nine is 10. One and zero is one. So that brings us back to the beginning. So we have a really powerful beginning energy. The forgiveness card is uh, number 23, and two and three is five. Uh, five is a number of change. And when we offer forgiveness either to ourselves or to others, uh, you know, that, that creates change, that creates movement. Uh, you know, this forgiveness energy allows us to travel forward. The healing energy card is number 20. Two plus zero is two. Two is a number of balance, uh, and balance can go both ways. It can be really... Uh, really, you know, comfortable energy, or it can be really uncomfortable energy. Uh, when we're out of balance, things can tend to be a little bit uh, uncomfortable. And spirit right here is, you know, got this balance card, movement into balance, 
energy, which is right, you know, card number one. So it's it's a beginning energy. You know, we've got some some powerful beginning energies and some powerful transformational energies. So important for you to uh, focus on your lower chakras. Uh, the first chakra is about safety, security, home, food, shelter. You know, making sure that you're 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 physically able to be present in the world. Uh, and then the second chakra is about our self, all of our masculine and feminine energies, uh, all of the, the parts of our self that allow us to create the world around us. Uh, so it's a creative energy. And then the third chakra is about our, our, our personal power, our will, our ego. Uh, and not to say that ego is a bad thing. Ego can be a really good thing because it helps us to maintain and sustain when the ego is out of balance, then it becomes a little bit more problematic and then <clears throat> we need to move back into balance. So there's a lot of energy that's taking place in the first uh, three chakras for, for some of you right now and, and spirit is supporting you. So spirit is saying, hey, we got this. Hey, hey, things, things if they were chaotic before, Things are starting to slow down for you. Things are starting to, to come into balance. And some, some forgiveness is needed right now in this moment because you have really unlimited possibilities. Uh, this unlimited possibilities card has come up in the last few readings or somewhere in the last few readings uh, to remind you that when you are in your heart space, you have this connection with the lower chakras and the upper chakras and everything is in balance. <clears throat> Excuse me. When the throat chakra does that, it means somebody needs to hear that message. So pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. If you, you know, if, if you are having some imbalance, you know, in your lower chakras and some imbalance in your upper chakras, you're not operating from your heart space and therefore you're going to block your energy and not have as many possibilities available to you. So spirit is saying, hey, when, when you're coming from your heart space, you're able to move into that unlimited possibility. So this card has come up and right now spirit is asking uh, for you to create a little bit of change, for you to move into a place that might be a little bit uncomfortable and offer some forgiveness. Uh, this forgiveness card is also got the sun and the moon in it and the sun and the moon when they show up in the cards especially right here right now like this is is about balance and especially now that we've got the move into balance card spirits coming in and saying to you hey take a look at what's going on in life and come into balance you know i'm supporting you i'm here for you i'm moving you along you know the we we got we got to find some balance. We might have to offer some forgiveness. So as always, we will pull some cards to find clarifying messages for all uh, four quadrants right here, starting with uh, move into balance and unlimited possibilities. So we'll ask for some clarification there. Uh, we'll also ask for some clarification on unlimited possibilities and energy healing, energy healing and forgiveness and forgiveness and move into balance. And it all revolves around this slow but steady energy. I like to say slow and steady. Uh, so we'll ask spirit uh, what, uh, what, 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 what there is to, to know more about. Angel spirits, guides, thank you for all of the messages that you have shared. Thank you for the messages that are on their way. What is it that you have to share about move into balance and unlimited possibilities? Stay focus card flipped over. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. What, what do we got here? Okay. We want this one and this one. Sometimes the cards like to, to talk real loud, real fast. Sometimes they jump out of the deck and sometimes they flip over in my hand. So we've got the stay focused card. We've got yes and we've got uh, find blessings in your current situation. Um, so immediately the message that, that comes forward is this stay focused card uh, is spirit coming in and saying, we've got this slow but slow but steady energy that's being offered, that spirit is saying, hey, we're, we're moving things forward. And the message is as, 
as things are arriving in life, little objects will come and you know take our attention. I call it shiny object syndrome. You know, there's this thing and that thing, and my attention goes here and there and everywhere and and so on and so forth. Uh, we live in this really beautiful world of incredibilia. You know, everything is incredible, uh, and you know we want to put our attention into it. But spirit is saying, hey, we're we're working on bringing balance into life. And we have to stay focused because I want to take you into this place of of unlimited possibilities. And this this yes card came through and spirit saying, yeah, it's it's hair. It's happening. Um, however, there might be some things that are are in the way. And, <clears throat> you know, this this stay focused and yes card came up next to each other. Ganesha is is one of the uh, Hindu gods of wisdom, knowledge, teaching, uh, remover of obstacles. So, you know, with this, the message that's coming forward along with this stay focused, you know, there might be some things that are that are kind of skirting the edge of your attention. And, you know, it's time to time to focus on the thing that you want. Uh, you know, spirits here and nudging you forward and saying, "Hey, let's go." Um, and you know, this this remover of obstacles energy is out there. So you know, it's time to take a look at maybe there are some things that are that are pulling your attention in a way that is not helpful and moving moving you towards the goal that that you have set for yourself. And spirits also saying wherever you are at, just take a look at what is coming up for you, right? There is always two sides to a coin and spirit saying, hey, look at that, you know, maybe something has come up that seems like it's a little bit challenging for, uh, for you. And spirit saying, hey, don't focus on, on that, um, you know, negative aspect. Uh, we want to move into balance. There's two sides to a coin. So let's see what is the flip side of that. You know, maybe uh, for some of you, uh, you were released from employment. Well, what is the benefit to that? There is something that that there is beneficial for that. And uh, what does that mean? You know, maybe in the short term, there's a, a lot of stress with, my goodness, what am I going to do? Uh, how am I going to provide for myself? Uh, you know, we've got an abundance card right here. Ganesha is an abundance card. If 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 you can see, he's got a plate full of something delicious. There's a lot of it. There's abundance there. Uh, so you know, if that's the situation, and that's likely not for everybody, this is a general reading. Uh, so uh, you know, we're, we're spirits channeling lots of things in. So if that is part of your your truth in the moment, spirits saying, "Hey, take a look at what that means." Uh, you know. Try not to focus on the negative aspect uh, of, of, oh my gosh, you know, this just happened and I, you know, remove yourself from the uh, scarcity mindset and look at the opposite side and look at the, the what, does, what else does this give me? Maybe this frees up the energy so that there is an ability to take take yourself into, you know, other areas, maybe that frees up your your energy to uh, pursue some spiritual goals or self self learning, uh, or maybe it lets you get into that passion project that you've always had and never had the time uh, to be able to do. So whatever it is, take a look at your situation and find the find the positive in that find the blessings in that because that's what's helping you come into focus. That's what spirit is offering you this, this, this healing energy and spirit is, is moving you forward. Thank you, angel spirits guides for sharing those messages. All right, now let's find some clarification on unlimited possibilities and energy healing. Angel spirits guys, what is it that you have to share about, there we go. Okay, we'll get the cards out, and this one here. So, we've got the come out of the closet card, fertility, and trust. So, I think that this is a really powerful pairing. The fertility card is an abundance card as well. Um, and 
paired with this unlimited possibilities card and also the Ganesha card, uh, Spirit is really behind you and supporting you in a powerful way. And there is this, this abundance that's either been created or is being asked to be created. Now, at the beginning of the reading, I did say we've got to do some focus on uh, first, second, third chakra energy because of the, 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 the cards that have come up and just bringing this uh, energy forward. And this uh, abundance card, or this fertility card, uh, has to do with the second chakra. So finding some, some focus uh, on that. Um, but Spirit is saying, uh, we need to we need to focus on on giving some time to ourselves and really with this healing energy and unlimited possibilities some of you might be moving into something that is with healing that has to do uh, Spirit just said, for some of you out there, it might have to do with uh, second chakra healing energy. Um, uh, yeah, second chakra energy healing is happening there. Uh, so we've also got the trust card. <clears throat> um, and for me, uh, this is a card of, of just really being and finding alignment with what the universe has to offer. This is like a crown chakra energy card. Uh, so for some of you, uh, there's this, this healing that needs to happen within the crown chakra, or you're getting a lot of information that's coming through, and Spirit's asking you to, to come out and to really embrace that energy, to embrace the, the, the amazing nature that that has to offer. Is there anything else that you want to share with that? <clears throat> Spirit says, come here. Check these cards out. Thank you, Angel Spirits guides, for all of the guidance that you have to offer. What is it that you have to share? Oops. Beautiful messages, all of them. Not when they fall out like that. All right, that's not how we. That's not how we do that. Angel spirits, guys. There we go. Collaborative dreaming. So some of you, uh, this this is resonating a little bit with the crown chakra energy, the collaborative dreaming. So for some of you, you might really be dreaming something out or uh, planning something out. You might be engaging your, your third eye and really tapping into your upper chakra energy uh, with your higher self, or maybe in this case, uh, with others. Um, but you might be really just dreaming something up that's really big. Uh, this is card number 28. Two and eight is 10. One and zero is one. So we've got this really powerful energy that is taking, taking you forward, right? So spending time in, in either collaborating with your spirit, you know, seeing what spirit has to say, trust the, trust the information that's coming through uh, because that's taking you into a place of wholeness we've got this healing energy card and the 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 slow and steady energy this movement forward uh energy and spirit saying hey get it get it out get it on paper get something get something get something there get get it shared this come out of the energy closet come out of the closet energy card <laughs> Woo! All the words want to come at once. The message is strong. Spirit's saying, hey, it's got to come out all at once. <laughs> Hold on, I can only do so much on the physical realm, Spirit. Um, so Spirit's urging, urging you to get this out and get it, get it on the physical plane, however you can do that. Perhaps that's creating some art uh, that is in support of whatever energy uh, is coming forward with this collaborative dream, uh, either with yourself or with others. But put something on paper, uh, create some art, create something, do something on the physical realm to put whatever it is that is in your mind's eye 
into the physical, draw it in so you can create it and have spirit help you move it forward, slow and steady, slow and steady. All right, this brings healing to you as you do this because you're getting the energy out. You're getting it you're you're getting it into the out there. <laughs> the outside of your physical body. You know, you're getting it out of your being. Thank you Angel Spirits guides for that. All right, now let's turn to energy healing and forgiveness. Angel Spirits guides, what is it that you have to share with these beautiful beings? Now, wonderful 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 beings, we've got a really powerful, whoops, that fell out, that doesn't count. We've got some powerful energy, no, that one does, that one jumped out. All right, uh, we've got a powerful energy gateway that's happening here very soon uh, on the 1111 portal. Um, so we've got some, some powerful preparatory work that we can be doing. All right, so spirits got this to share with us. So as part of this, this forgiveness energy that, that those of you out there are, are working with, uh, either it's yourself, forgiving yourself, or for those of you that are, are, are you know, in need of forgiving others, um, Spirit has some really powerful energy to offer to you. Um, and, and so we've got the we've got the, the healing energy card and then uh, what's coming out to clarify this energy is nurture yourself. So some of you out there, you really might be holding on to some energy that is not serving your highest good and greatest purpose. Some of you out there might be holding on to some, some emotional stuff, uh, maybe baggage from the past uh, from this lifetime and spirit saying some of you out there are doing some work from from past lifetimes uh, and for those of you that are doing that kind of work you have an awareness of what it is that has happened in these past lives and spirit saying hey you have to take care of yourself you have to you have to offer yourself uh, some forgiveness what happened in a past life or even earlier in this lifetime it happened it's not serving you to hold on to that energy and the spirit is here supporting you this slow and steady energy so you know for those of you that are are doing are doing some really deep work with yourself or with others um you know spirits spirit saying hey we're moving forward we're moving forward but we got to go through this and spirit's going to say it's going to feel like time is is slowing down for you because once you get into the muck and the mire of of your own being it's it's going to feel a little bit like gosh how long do i have to be in this energy how long does it seem like this is going to take well spirit saying it's only very short <laughs> in in the grand scheme of things it's only a very short amount of time, but because you're doing some really profound work, beautiful beings, it, it seems like it's taking forever, but it's really not. Uh, so Spirit is saying, it is time to make sure that you nurture yourself. Get out into nature. Nature is my favorite way to provide healing to my personal self. Uh, and I know that it is very helpful for others to get out into nature as well. It allows us to, to connect with everything that we're created from. You know, we're created from the earth, we're created from the waters, we're created from the sun. Uh, you know, all of these parts come in together and we are, we are living beings. We respond to nature. Nature, Mother Earth has this really profound ability to transform and transmute uh, the heaviness that we feel. and she's able to do so in a way that is not harmful to her, right? So when we offer gratitude for her helping us to transform these energies, we're really offering ourselves the best kind of healing, right? And that allows us to move into a place of forgiveness. You know, for a long time, a little bit of my personal story, I held, in, held on to some, some hurt from my biological father, 
he wasn't a very kind man. He wasn't very emotionally supportive. Uh, he, he disowned me for a while when I came out as gay. And, you know, I had to, to do some, some healing around all of that. And when I recognized what it was, as I was holding on to so much animosity because it was him, right? Uh, and I forgave myself for holding on to that animosity. And I noticed my life change. And through all of that, it felt like everything was going so slow. Like, why does it feel like things are going? But as soon as I offered myself forgiveness, it changed. And I felt like life just went, you know, at a, at a rabbit's pace. You know, things picked back up. I was able to move forward. But in that time, it was like slow molasses in the molasses in the winter just oozing really really slow um but spirit saying hey you have to offer yourself forgiveness you have to offer yourself some some nurturing energy get out into nature be one with with the planet around you if you can put your feet on the ground let your body exchange positive and negative ions with the earth right release some of the energy that doesn't serve you anymore uh, a spirit saying find a deep connection with that the meditation card came out you know find a deep connection with uh the the forgiveness energy for those of you that are maybe working on uh forgiving others spirit is saying clear and shield your energy you know protect yourself um and some of you out there might be doing some cord cutting um, you might be might be really finding a way to release release a, a person from your life. You know, sometimes people come into our lives, uh, whether they're twin flames or soulmates or whatever, um, that they teach us lessons. And there are times when we've learned the lessons and we know what we need to know, but they're still they've still got a little bit of an attachment to us and you know it's spirit saying it's time to it's time to remove that energy on a deep level so go inward you know go into this meditative place tap into this this really potent ability that you have to heal yourself and remove that energy and now for some of you you might not have the the skill set to be able to do that so search for somebody that can help you with that an energy healer a reiki master teacher uh, a quantum quantum healing practitioner uh, it could also be a shaman or somebody that is well versed in being able to do that kind of work ask for their help they'll be able to help you remove that energy from their energy field you know move yourself into into a deep place of, of meditation if you know how to do this and remove their energy from your being you know clear and shield yourself protect your energy those are the messages that spirit has to share with that thank you angel spirits guides now what is it you have to offer uh, about forgiveness and move into balance angel spirits guides thank you thank you thank you for the messages that you've shared what is it that you have to offer about forgiveness and move into balance? Yeah, you can do it. So for some of you out there that might be struggling with, with just this energy of, of forgiveness, your angels, your spirits, your guides are supporting you. Call upon them for strength. You know, ask them to help you find the words to 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 bring forward you know do it in a way that is compassionate forgive forgiveness let it be compassionate forgiveness try to look at it through the lens of of non-harming right let let forgiveness be non-harming this is helping you to, to to move into this place of of being at one with yourself being at one with your spirit being at one with your emotions, being at one with your physical and emotional bodies. It allows you to move into a place of balance, which opens up the doorway for you to be able to put your energy into the things that you're bringing in, right? So we've got this energy over here on this side that, that is letting us move forward in this really powerful way. You know, we've got unlimited possibilities and um, on the other hand, you know, we, we're, we're, we're a 
we've got some opposition. We've got to find something, you know, we, we've got something coming up that is asking us to find some forgiveness with your angels, your spirits, your guides, your higher self, whatever it is that is out there that is bigger than you. Um, maybe that's the planet for you. Maybe that's something that you believe in <laughs> is, is urging you to, to move forward because you need to come into this balance because you have so much to offer. All right, angel spirits, guides. Yep, absolutely. So uh, the yoga card came out, and just as I was talking about bringing everything into balance, so so for some of you out there, this is just a clarification that that is that is what what needs to happen for you. Time to time to find, you know, what it is that is in need of forgiveness that is in need of of change because you are moving into union you know we've got the the yoga card and we've got move into balance right so for some of you actually doing the physical practice of yoga is going to be helpful in unlocking whatever it is uh, as we move and we stretch the body uh, the energy flows more easily through the meridians the energy pathways of the body it m allows for more fluid movement of energy through our chakras. As we f move our physical body, it allows things uh, on the non-physical level, our, our emotional body, our mental body, our spiritual body, we, it allows that energy to move more fluidly and can unlock for some of you uh, what it means or what, it, what, needs to, what needs to happen next for you. Remember, we've got this slow and steady energy. We don't have to race to the end, uh, you know, Life, life happens one step at a time. We got this energy happening one step at a time. The spirit says, look at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so <clears throat> you're seeing things accurately. Definitely for those of you out there that have the awareness of, of you know, who, do I need to forgive somebody uh, do I need to forgive myself? What is it that I need to do? You are seeing things accurately. Now, for some of you, you might really be in a place of balance. Uh, you might really be in a, a good whole place uh, where, where you've done a lot of work. Uh, and for those of you, you are seeing this, this accurately. In, in that case, Spirit's saying right now, hey, it's okay to slow things down for a minute. It's okay to, to be in this, this really beautiful place of, of stillness and enjoy what it is that is happening. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for all of, all of those messages. All right, so let's pull some final cards and see what Spirit has to say. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for all of the messages. Choice. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. Yep. Bring awareness. Bring awareness to as much of your life as you can. Angel spirits, guides. What other messages do you have? We've got love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. Absolutely. Forgive yourself. Please forgive yourself. When you can forgive yourself or forgive others, you can move into a state of, of love and bliss. No limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. Absolutely. Just as I shared over here, we've got unlimited possibilities. Spirit saying, trust in that. Once you, once you work through whatever this, this energy is that you need to bring change to, you're able to tap into that even more. You're able to recognize that you are unlimited and once that energy is not hanging out there, bam, get rid of it. And the whole world opens up. The, the night sky, you'll see all the stars. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll recognize that you are 
that the world is there for you. All right, one more message. Angel spirits, guys. Whoosh. We'll take this one. Yeah, these guys jump on the floor, but this is the one that turned over in my hand, and it is abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance open to you naturally. Absolutely. Absolutely. So for those of you out there that that are, you know, doing all of this this heart chakra work, finding finding balance in the lower chakras, finding balance in the upper chakras, we're able to get into a place of of more love. And when you share that forward, you know, the universe wants to reward you. Angel spirits guides want to reward you and to allow you the opportunity to to continue that work, right? We're at a huge time on our planet when people need 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 heart healing, right? So much has happened. So many lies have been told by everybody, you know, we need to be able to we need to be able to take care of ourselves. We need to be able to take care of others. And for those of you that are, are, are there to serve other people, to help them heal from whatever it is that has come up for them, uh, for whatever generational things have happened and transpired, when your heart is there to help them, the universe will bring you plenty of abundance to be able to continue to offer helping people to heal beautiful beings those are our messages for today if any bit of this reading resonated with you please do like share and subscribe to my channel i truly appreciate all of all of the love you show my way uh, it helps to helps to move the energy and to you know keep things things going so beautiful beings until the next time May you be showered with an abundance of love, joy, light, prosperity, wisdom, health, and healing on all of the levels and planes of existence. Be well.